I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on ratios and proportions. Here are four questions which we are going to discuss based on a particular information, which is I collect stamps. Two fifths of the stamps are of India, and two thirds of the remaining stamps are of Canada. Now, based on this, we have four questions, multiple choice questions. I like you to first read these questions, answer them, and then watch my solutions. So, question number one is: I collect stamps. Two fifths of the stamps are of India, and two thirds of the remaining stamps are of Canada. What ratio of my stamp collection is of countries other than India and Canada? Four choices are given to you. Question number two: I collect stamps. Two fifths of the stamps are of India, and two thirds of the remaining stamps are of Canada. Find the ratio of stamps for India to Canada. Question number three: I collect stamps. Two fifths of the stamps are of India, and one seventh of the stamps are of Australia. Find the number of stamps of Australia if the Indian stamps are fifty-six. Question number four. I collect stamps. Two fifths of the stamps are of India, and one seventh of the stamps are of Australia. Find the number of stamps of countries other than India and Australia if the Australian stamps are twenty-five. And likewise, you can create your own questions, and then solve. So I hope you find it fascinating. Let's begin with the solution of the very first question, which is once again, I collect stamps. Two fifth of stamps are of India, and two third of the remaining stamps are of Canada. What ratio of my stamp collection is of countries? Other than India and Canada. Now, to solve such questions, we can adopt two different approaches. Right. So, one, of course, by the definition of the ratios, which is, or we can say, when we have said that we have two fifth, two fifth of the stamps are of India, two fifth are. Of India, correct. So what remains? If out of two, if out of five, two are of India, then three remains, right? So, so that means three out of five are of other countries. Correct. Now we are saying. I collect stamps. Two fifth of the stamps are of India, and two third of the remaining. See, this is important. Two third of the remaining stamps are of Canada. So remaining was three fifth. So we are saying two third of three fifth. That means two third of means multiplication of three fifth. So this fraction. Is of Canada. Now, if you simplify this, what do you get? Well, three and three cancel, and what you get basically is again two fifth of Canada. Correct. So, two fifth of the total is of Canada. The question is, what ratio of my stamp collection is of countries other than India and Canada? So basically, the ratio remaining is one minus two fifth plus two fifth, correct? Which is one minus four over five, or one can be written as what? We could write this as five out of five. Take away four out of five, and what we get here 
is 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 over 5, correct? So the correct answer is B, which is 1 over 5. So you could do it like this. Another way to solve this question is, without getting into too many fractions, is to begin with the number. A number which is multiple of both 3 and 5, because we are talking about 2 fifth and 2 third. So let us assume some number. So let us assume that we have uh, 30 stamps. Okay, so if we have 30 stamps, what are we saying? We are saying that two fifths are of India. So for India, how many do we have? Two fifths of 30. So that means 2 over 5 times 30, right? So that goes 6 times and 6 times 2 is 12. So for India, we have 12. Now remaining is how many? 30 minus 12 remains, right? So 30 minus 12, because 12 are of India. So when we take away, we borrow and then write 10 minus 2, 8, and then 2 minus 2, 18. So out of this remaining, 2 thirds are of Canada. So for Canada, we have 2 thirds of means multiplication of 18, right? 18 remains. Now when you divide, 18 goes 6 times, 6 times 3 is 18, and 6 times 2 is 12, so that gives you again 12. So we know for India we have 12, for Canada we have 12, 30 was to begin with, so 30 minus 12, take away 12, so that gives you 6, right? So the question was, what ratio of my stamp collection of countries other than India and Canada? So the ratio is other countries over total, right? So the other country is 6 out of 30, so we get 1 out of 5. So if you assume a number, it's a very easy calculation, right? So since I had to explain you, it takes time, however, if you take 30, 2 fifth of 30 is 12, remaining 18, 2 third of 18 is again 12. You also see one thing that India and Canada for this ratio, we have the same number of stamps, right? And then once you take away this 12 and 12, we are remaining with 6 stamps out of 30, 6 out of 30 is 1 over 5. So that becomes your answer. It doesn't make sense to you. So that is how we could use different strategies to solve ratios and proportion questions, especially when fractions are involved. So try to take a number which is common multiple of these denominators. That will always help. Now question number two is, I collect stamps, two-fifths of stamps are of India, two-thirds of the remaining stamps are of Canada. Find the ratio of stamps for India and Canada. We just found it is same, right? Well, let's do it once again. So what we have here is two-fifths of stamps are of India, right? So we know that two-fifths are of India. That means one minus two-fifths remains, right? So which means... 5 minus 2, common denominator 5, right? So 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 over 5 remains. Now we are saying 2 third of remaining stamps are of Canada. That means 2 third of means multiplying 3 by 5. That is of Canada, correct? How much is this? 3 and 3 cancels. So we get 2 over 5. Now the question is, find the ratio of stamps for India to Canada. Well, both are 2 is to 5, I'm sorry, right? Same, correct? So the ratio is 1 is to 1, right? That gives you 1 is to 1 as the ratio, okay? So that is how we are going to solve question number 2. Question number 3 is, on the same information, 
I collect stamps, two fifths of the stamps are of India, slightly changed. Now we are saying two fifths are of India and one seventh of the stamps are of Australia and we are saying one seventh of Australia. Find the number of stamps of Australia if the Indian stamps are 56. So we are given this number, two-fifths of total is 56, right? So now we can form an equation. We can say two-fifths of means multiplication and total. Two-fifths of total is Indian stamps, right? So let total be the number n. So that is given to us as equal to 56. Is that clear? So when we write that the, the Indian stamps are 56, which are two-fifths of total number, let that total number be n, two-fifths of n is 56. Now, by cross multiplication, we can find total number. 56 should be equal to, so we go 5 and 2. 5 in the numerator gets multiplied with 56, and then you divide by 2, right? So this number n is, you could also first divide. So when you divide 56 by 2, what do you get? 2 goes 2 times 4 and then 8 times 5, right? So that is the number which you get as the total number of stamps. Now, 1 seventh of this total number n is the Australian stamps. So how many are those? So, 1 seventh of means times. So, let's use this number 28 times 5. So, I didn't even calculate it, right? We could use that number. It helps. 7 goes 4 times in 28. And so, we know 4 times 5 is 20. And so, we know the Australian stamp should be 20 in number. Is that clear? So, here we are given that 2 fifth of total number of stamps is 56 and now if you find the total number of stamps then one seventh of that is Australian correct we are seeing one seventh of these stamps not remaining perfect so slight difference from the previous example however you understand the strategy now correct last question for you I collect stamps, two-fifths of the stamps are of India, one-seventh of the stamps are of Australia. Find the number of stamps of countries other than India and Australia if the Australian stamps is uh, 25. Now I'd like you to pause and answer this question. Correct. Anyway, let's say the total number of stamps is N. Right, we are saying if the Australian stamps is 25, so 25 is equal to what? Is one seventh of the total, right? Is one seventh of means times n. That means n should be how much? n should be 25 times 7. Correct? So we know n is 25 times 7, out of which 25 belongs to Australia. We need to find the number of stamps of countries other than India and Australia. So let's first find how many stamps of India, right? Now they're saying two-fifths of the stamps are of India, right? So two-fifths of means multiplication. This number, N, is Indian stamps, right? So N, we calculated 25 times 7. So two-fifths of 25 times 7 is how much? You see the advantage? We are not wasting time in finding a number. We kept it like this. It helps. So it goes 5 times 5 times 2 is 10. And when you multiply 10 by 7, we get 70. So that means out of a total number, we have Australian stamps and the Indian stamps, we know the numbers, right? 25 and 70. Well, we need to find the number. 
So let's calculate, right? So n is how much? So 25 times 4 is 100, then 200 means 8, but less. So it means 175. Is it okay? So you just calculate this number. So now we can find other countries. So other countries should be, we could do without multiplication, but that involves higher level. Uh, this is simpler, right? So I've taken this 175 minus that of Australia, which is given to us, 25, right? Minus that of India, which is 70, correct? So what we get here is, when you take away 25, you get 150, and from 150, you take away 70, you get 80 as your answer correct so the option a is the right option so i hope that helps you to understand how to solve such multiple choice questions involving fractions perfect so that is the information with which we started our work so we're given stamps of two different countries and we found what could be the number of stamps for the third country or the other countries or similar problems right so whenever any question is related to this kind of information in any form we could use one of these strategies so i hope that should help you to solve many questions related to ratios and proportions especially when fractions are involved feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best